hi, I'm Bill Ritchie, and I'm putting the final touches, the hand wipe, on a test plate for Mini Halfwood Press number 82. And in a minute, I'll be printing the plate. Uh, but first, I'll go over the, the features on the Mini Halfwood Press. This one is going to Dustin in Wyoming. Dustin McClure in my Wyoming. But before I get into what's on the press and what's in the box, I just want to finish hand wiping this plate so it'll be ready to test that press. Okay, a little cleaning on the edges, and then I'll print. I make all the mini half wood presses by hand, and before I send them out, I do this little test. I made an edition of 40, I'm making an edition of 49 copper etching plates, all etched about the same way, and then the plate goes with the press, with one of the prints, I'll print two of them, and it goes with one of the prints uh, to the owner. This is ready to print, so now I can go over what the owner gets when they receive their handwood press. They get a little book that is a kind of journal of the making of the press. It has what kinds of woods I use and uh, has an artist stamp for that press number and a little story about the beginning of the Halfwood Press line. And they get a box. I call it the printmaker's instrument box. Inside it has the certificate of authenticity a set of new felt blankets and this card I will laminate the, I will clean up the copper plate and laminate it to this card and that will serve as a kind of a little document they'll get the DVD the DVD you're watching showing this test plus a bunch of short lessons and things. This is a new copper plate that the owner gets to try out. A bookmarker. An Allen wrench. The Allen wrench is for tightening the two set screws on the hub of the, of the wheel. These mustn't come loose. And so the set screw is in there, so to be sure that the owner has a brand new set screw or an Allen wrench for tightening set screws. And the owner gets a user's manual. The press comes on a shipping board. It's held down with these uh, thumb screws for shipping. And it also serves as a, t a kind of a work desk for the person if they want to use it. There's a, a gripper pad that comes with it also. Because the press is so light that without the gripper pad on a smooth table it might tend to slide around and the gripper pad helps keep it steady. Next I'll talk about setting the pressure. The way I set the pressure on the mini half wood press since it's a uh, friction drive press, it's driven from the bottom roller, so it has to have pressure on it in order for the bed to go. To get set up, I raise the rollers about 12 half turns in order to get the felt blanket under the roller. There are two felt blankets. One is called the sizing catcher. It goes next to the paper and then there's the roller blanket on top. It only requires two felt blankets. Now the rollers are up in their high position. The top roller is up in its high position. It gives me room to put the blanket, the felt blanket, under the roller. And then I tighten it back down. It comes down about oh, eight half turns until it feels tight. Now this is always a question of how tight should it be. 
And that's something we only can find out after we've taken prints. But I have added what are called roller rulers on the side. There are roller rulers on both sides. That's so that they are kept parallel with each other. The rollers always have to be kept even with each other. Otherwise, one side of the print will come out darker than the other side. Over here, I have some paper I prepared ahead of time. Two small pieces for, the, for these plates of Arches Cover printmaking paper. I soaked them in water for about an hour, and then I took them out of the water, I blotted off the excess water, and put them in a plastic bag until I'm ready for them. I have the plate ready, and I like to warm my plate on this little hot plate, because I think I get a better impression if the ink is warm. Not so hot that it smokes, not so hot that I can't carry it around, just so it's hot. I go by feel because I've had years of experience. A beginner might want to start with light pressure and then work and work until it's dark enough. For the convenience of the video, before I pull the proof, I'll turn around the press and I have a practice of writing down the moment it was printed. I give the year 11, the month 04, and the day 24. April 24, and I count the time, which is, by the 24-hour clock, 16.42. That's the moment it was printed, I call the moment number. There's trial proof number one. Now for the rest of the afternoon, I'll print, I'll ink up the plate, I'll wipe it with tarlatan, and then I'll follow with a paper wipe, and finally, the hand wipe, which is where this video began. I'll compare the two prints. Choose the better one for the owner sign them, dry them, mount the plate on the, on the card, and package it up, and send it with the shipping board in a box. Well, I would say the test was a success. The print looks fine. It's an etching on copper plate for Dustin McClure in Wyoming. I'm Bill Ritchie, and I thank you for watching.